Hello and welcome to MSK Unknown Case 89. This is an MRI axial T2 fat sat image through the pelvis. And the high yield question that we have for you is, which bursa is distended with fluid? Is it the iliopsoas bursa, the trochanteric bursa, the obturator externus bursa, or the ischioglutial bursa? Which bursa is distended with fluid? If we take a look at this image, notice that the bone marrow signal is normal. This here is the sacrum. This is the right iliac wing here, and this is the left iliac wing. But deep to the iliacus slash iliopsoas muscle, there's fluid. There's this T2 bright signal, which is extending a bursa. Notice on the right side, there is no such fluid there. So this, because it's deep to the iliopsoas and iliacus muscle, this is known as the iliopsoas bursa, and thus A is the correct answer here. Now, what is a bursa? We often get that question. Well, a bursa is just simply a fluid-filled sac lined by synovial cells, and it can be located at points of tendon friction. So they don't always exist, but when there's tendon friction, there's a lot of pressure on a tendon, there are potential space that can form. And it's important because it can be painful. It can, they can get inflamed, and they can even result in mass effect on surrounding structures. And the fluid can be simple, meaning on T1, it's dark, on T2, it's bright, or it can be complex, meaning on T1, there can be high signal because of protein or blood. So both simple or complex fluid is possible in a bursa. And there are six common bursae in the hip that I wanna highlight. The iliopsoas we talked about, which is beneath the iliopsoas tendon. The greater trochanteric bursa often gets a lot of press. This is between the gluteus maximus and the greater trochanter. The subgluteus medius is deep to the gluteus medius tendon where it inserts onto the posterior and lateral facet of the greater trochanter. The subgluteus minimus bursa is usually deep to the gluteus minimus tendon where it inserts onto the anterior facet of the greater trochanter. And the obturator externus and ischial gluteal don't get talked about often, but they're still very important. The obturator externus is between the obturator externus muscle and the ischium. And the ischial gluteal is also deep to the gluteus maximus, but it overlies the hamstring tendon origin. This is where the semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and biceps femoris insert onto the ischial tuberosity. So between that space and deep to the gluteus maximus. So those are the six common bursae in the hip. And I want to end just by showing this coronal image through the hip. This is just another image of the iliopsoas bursa. So you can see this is the iliac bone here. This is the femoral head articulating with the acetabulum. And then deep to this iliopsoas or iliacus muscle, we have this fluid here, right? This fluid is going to kind of track deep to the iliopsoas tendon. And remember, the iliopsoas is going to eventually insert, you can't see it, but along the lesser trochanter, right? So this is fluid that's deep to the iliopsoas iliacus, also the iliopsoas bursa. Thank you so much for your attention. Hope that was helpful. Tune in next week for another high-yield MSK unknown case.